this is an example for air compressor pneumatic system I have got this data from the this is the Bastis website website uh, for their 26 gallon 150 max pressure compressor originally I got the data from the amazon.com so you can go to that link and find out this is a 26 gallon 1.8 horsepower 150 psi horsepower motor or compressor and then it claims this 1.8 horsepower it delivers 4.1 standard cubic feet per minute air at 90 psi and the size of the compressor is 26 gallon and then it has a 150 max pressure and then I have developed these questions uh, as to kind of explain the concept so let's go ahead and answer each of these so let's go here so first question is asking how long this compressor will run quietly we have learned one equation uh, called the compressor receiver size or in this case the common name is tank so tank size or receiver size that equation we have learned check that video on how this equation comes there are a lot of basics in this equation development if you don't understand what's going on behind the scene a lot of time these terms will be very confused confusing and will really mess you up during the exam so check that video on how this equation was developed so in this case it didn't really ask for the receiver size it asked for the time so you solve for time instead of solve for the volume of the tank so if we solve for time it's going to be vr times p max max pressure minus mean pressure divided by the uh, p atmospheric pressure atm times the qr the rate at which this compressor delivers to the uh, actuator so if i plug all these numbers uh, the vr26 gallon i have converted that the tank size 26 gallon i converted that to 3.476 feet cube so 3.476 feet cube times the max pressure was 150 minus the mean pressure was the atmospheric pressure now you should be using the absolute pressure now in this case they cancel um, so here wait 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 that's not a max pressure that's 90 is the minimum pressure so 150 plus 14.7 minus 90 plus 14.7 so that 14.7 cancel from each other so in this case gas pressure would be fine and then the atmospheric pressure is 14.7 times the the year it delivers to the pneumatic system is 4.1 standard cubic feet per minute and the compressor is run not running at that time because we are trying to calculate how much time is going to supply this amount of air without starting the compressor so i found that uh, time calculated 3.46 minute which is equal to 3 minute 28 second so that's question number one <coughs> question number two um, it says how calculate the continuous theoretical pneumatic power available by the compressor the theoretical power formula is the power is equal to um, pressure in times the flow rate divided by 65.4 and then pressure out divided by pressure in power 0.286 minus 1 so let's plug in this number in this case is the atmospheric pressure air that's going into the compressor so 14.7 psi times q is 4.1 scfm 
divide by 65.4 and then p out is it says that it delivers at 90 psi so if you go back to the problem you can see that it says it delivers that 4.1 gallon cubic feet per minute at 90 psi so that's the delivery at 90 psi so this will be 90 psi not 150 90 psi plus 14.7 divided by 14.7 power 0.286 minus 1 so I have calculated that point six nine four horsepower even though it says it develops 1.8 horsepower I don't know where that thing comes from this is what you will have continuously available for work so horsepower that's question number three question number that's question two question number three is see yeah how about this horsepower so it might develop a peak power 1.8 horsepower sometimes a burst of power but not really um, continuously available so this is what you have for the work continuous available because it says the compressor is rated between 90 to 150 psi so 90 to 150 psi and at 90 psi it will constantly deliver at 4.1 um, standard cubic feet per minute so this will be the continuous available power for to work so question number three the question is basically it's probably true but it will not be available for work now let's answer question four that will clarify more question three so assume the horsepower claim is true calculate the maximum power possible flow rate maximum possible flow rate now then we just use the same equation in this case we solve for the flow rate so p in is 14.7 again we are now solving for q everything else stays the same and now you're going to let's use 150 psi they probably have calculated that for higher psi so higher psi means higher flow rate so it's probably that I don't know let's find out minus 1 so in this case the Q I have got the Q let me get that 8.04 standard cubic feet per minute so I got 8 point basically 8 standard cubic feet per minute 0 0.04 standard cubic feet per minute however this will be a burst of flow at 150 psi if you take the compressor to all the way up to 150 psi you might get this mass flow rate and then it start to go down as the pressure goes down so it probably one uh, 0.8 horsepower there is no way of knowing until I measure the flow rate actually and once again these are theoretical so actual will be even less let's go ahead and solve rest of the problems so next problem these problems are compressor moisture removal as you know air has lots of moisture so when compressor compressed moisture it condensed moisture and then if you don't remove the moisture it goes into the pneumatic system a lot of time moisture is removed and and there is a interest of calculating how much moisture it actually condensed so question number five it says that if he if the compressor takes saturated air from the atmosphere at 80 degree Fahrenheit the compressor runs eight hours a day calculate the gallons of water condensation per day to solve this problem we're gonna have to use that table psychometric table where you get the amount of moisture content at different temperature so at 80 degree Fahrenheit as you can see the maximum the air can contain is 1.58 pound so that is the max it says the saturated air so we have to use the uh, maximum so this is the 1.88 85 at 80 degree Fahrenheit air can contain 
1.58 pounds per thousand feet cube so every feet thousand feet cube of air will contain about a pound and a half moisture at 80 degree Fahrenheit if it gets saturated so let's plug that number here one point man there is not really plug-in type of situation it's just a simple algebra so air can contain 1.58 pounds per thousand feet cube so if you take 1000 feet cube of air 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet room that if it is saturated at 80 degrees it's gonna have 1.58 water maximum it can contain that now the compressor is delivering constantly at 4.1 standard cubic feet per minute let me write the actual unit it's gonna be easier so feet cube per minute so every minute it delivers this mass now I have to calculate the total minutes for eight hours so we know that uh, 60 minute is one hour and then the compressor compressor is running eight hours per day so if I calculate that I have found this one 3.109 pound per day if I convert this to gallon I know that one gallon is 8.34 pounds so that will be about 0.37 gallon per day will be removed by this moisture if you want to see it in quart there's going to be about 1.5 quart per day if you don't do anything question number six is asking that if you use an after cooler to kind of remove this moisture and then the air is compressed back to 80 degree then calculate the moisture per day that will still be received by the pneumatic actuator in this problem number five the temperature factor was not considered it just says it's taking the air and then how much it's going to go now if you go back to the table now this is the time where you have to consider the pressure so the maximum pressure is 150 psi so if you look at this this is 140 120 140 so the middle will be 150 psi so at 150 psi you're going to see where that 80 degree line is so that's the 80 degree fahrenheit and then you go follow that so it's about 1.15 pounds if you um, so if you if you cool back to 80 degree it now the oops I got my pen lost Let me get my pen all right I got my pen back so if you cool back to 80 degree it can maximum have this mass air sorry moisture at for every thousand feet cube if the pressure is 150 psi and then times this feet cube per minute times same thing 60 minute all of this stay the same I got this number 0.2952 pound per day if you convert it to gallon it gets 0 0.035 gallon per day quart wise it will be about 0.14 quart and then if you want to seize in ounce it's going to be 4.5 ounce so number seven if you even take it to lower temperature at 40 degree for example then you can go to the table and find out how much it can take at 40 degree at 150 psi so this is the 150 psi line and then the 40 degree line is this so right here so if I go somewhere here about 0 0.05 or maybe 0 0.03 something like that so if you use 0 0.03 or 0 0.05 basically everything is still the same 0 0.03 that's what I used here 
it looks like a little bit more than that now feet cube everything else still the same so then you get uh, 0 0.0071 gallon per day so that's it about this moisture removal and compressor problem